All right, let's open it up and take a look at the inventory. Okay, we have our wings and fuselage. We've got rudder, wheel pants, landing gear cover, landing gear and wheels, tail, We've got our servos, our motor, our ESC, and other parts. So it looks like we've got everything we need. Okay, so the only other things we should need are glue and a Zacto knife. I'm going to use Foam Cure, and that is available at RedWingRC.com under General Accessories. Let's get started. Some other gluing options would be hot glue for quick dry surfaces and welder's glue for areas that will need adjustment during curing. Okay, so the first step is to install the servo in the wings, and we are going to use hot glue to fix the servo into the servo pocket and um, this is going to be easy because it's already cut for us as well as the guideline for the servo wire so I'm going to go ahead and get this ready here okay and I happen to be using high temp hot glue so I'm going to let this cool for a few moments before I put this in, probably about 15 seconds, before I put this into the servo pocket so that I do not melt the foam. And as you're installing this, you want to be sure that the wire and the spline are toward the aileron. And you simply guide the wire into the pre-cut trench. And I've got that all tucked in there now. And then you'll just simply do the other wing as I've already done here. Now we're going to go ahead and install the control horns. For this installation I'm going to use the um, FoamSafe CA. I happen to have the Super Gold Plus which is available at RedWingRC.com. When you go to install the control horn, you will want to be sure that the control horn is installed directly over the hinge line. Um, you don't want it to be forward or back because this will inhibit the movement. 